Good day. In this video, I'm going to cover the differences between a penetration test and a vulnerability assessment. Uh, there's some confusion about the two topics. Uh, in Alpine Security, we do penetration tests and we do vulnerability assessments, but a lot of clients often ask us what's the difference. Plus, we teach a lot of certification classes such as Security Plus or CISSP where there's still a little bit of confusion about the differences. So first off, I will start with the vulnerability assessment. So with a vulnerability assessment, what we are doing is identifying the vulnerabilities on a target. That target could be a Windows system, it could be a Linux system, it could be a printer, it could be a voice over IP telephone, it could be a IP camera, anything that is on the network can potentially have a vulnerability. So vulnerability assessment should really assess everything on the network because from an attacker perspective, if they can exploit a vulnerability, even if that vulnerability is on your voice over IP phone, that gives them a foothold onto your network. There are two types of vulnerability assessments. There is a non credentialed or non-authenticated type of assessment in which the tool you use to do the assessment does not have any credentials or you don't put credentials in that tool uh, that scans the devices on your network. So it just looks for the devices on the network and it tells you if there's a vulnerability, but it does not log into any of those devices. So a non-credentialed or non-authenticated scan is what an attacker might see from their perspective, but it is not very accurate because all you can really gather from an information perspective and vulnerability perspective is what's available or what the system you are scanning tells you across the network. The other type of vulnerability assessment is a credentialed or a authenticated scan. So like the name says, with this one, we have credentials, typically domain admin credentials, and we use those credentials with the tool for the vulnerability assessment scan. So once the scan runs, the tool will log in to every system, and it will check things like installed services, installed applications, uh, DLL versions, etc. So this is much more accurate than a non-credentialed scan uh, because we can actually assess what vulnerabilities the installed applications may have. So ideally, if you want an accurate vulnerability assessment, you should be doing a credentialed scan. And this is not just the credentials for your Windows Active Directory. If you have Linux servers, you should provide uh, root level credentials for those as well. And the tool for the vulnerability assessment will log on via SSH to the Linux systems and check different packages that are installed, the versions of those packages, etc. So that's a vulnerability assessment. And we talked about non-credentialed versus credentialed. Uh, the the couple tools I want to mention real quickly about a vulnerability assessment, there are quite a few tools out there. Um, one of the main tools, at least one of the tools we use in Alpine Security is Nessus. Nessus is made by Tenable. There's also OpenVAS, which is a free tool. It's a little more difficult to configure and, in my opinion, not quite as accurate as Nessus, but those are two different tools you can use. Uh, so if you want to Get familiar with vulnerability assessments, you can download Nessus Home actually and install it on your home network and use it for free. It's just like the professional version, except you're limited to the number of systems you can test, or you can use OpenVAS. OpenVAS is free and open source. So that's vulnerability assessments. The other item I wanted to talk about is a penetration test. So a penetration test takes the information you gather from a vulnerability assessment and takes it one step further. So with a penetration test, we don't just identify the vulnerabilities, which we do with a vulnerability assessment. With a penetration test, we actually take it one step further, as I mentioned, and exploit those vulnerabilities. 
some people wonder like why bother to exploit the vulnerabilities? If we've already identified there's a vulnerability, what's the point in exploiting the, in exploiting the vulnerability? Well, the point is, if you want a true depiction of the overarching risk that your organization has, you need to do a penetration test. Uh, a vulnerability assessment simply identifies the vulnerabilities. And it, it, and, it, and it identifies the vulnerabilities from the perspective of each individual system rather than the holistic overall enterprise. So a penetration test, however, gives you the overarching picture. As an example, if I do a penetration test against an environment, if I can exploit a single vulnerability on, let's say, a domain controller, from there, I might be, might be able to run a tool such as Mimikatz and dump the credentials from the RAM for that domain controller and then steal domain admin credentials. And then from there, I may, might be able to log on to another server and steal all the organization's intellectual property. So I can string these things together with a penetration test, whereas a vulnerability assessment may just tell you the domain controller is, is, needs patched, for instance. So a more accurate picture of the overall risk is a penetration test. There's really three broad categories for a penetration test. There's a black box, a gray box, and a white box. So a black box penetration test means the penetration testing team doesn't really know much about the target environment other than maybe the domain name or the IP addresses. So it's like a black box to them, the target environment. A gray box penetration test is also known as an authenticated penetration test. Uh, with a gray box penetration test, the idea is the attacker has user level access. It's not domain at level, domain admin or root, it's user level access to the systems that they're testing. And this is important because if you have a web application, for instance, typically with a web application, users create uh, an account on that application. So with a gray box penetration test, the penetration testing team will test the application, the web application, from the point of view of the user. So they will use those credentials of that user on that web application to see if it's possible, for instance, to somehow break out of that user's area and maybe read another user's information, or if it's possible to somehow do some sort of exploit that gives them a higher level privilege, which allows them to see all the users. So that's typically called a horizontal uh, privilege escalation where I can get access to a different user system from my user credentials, or a vertical in which I can get access to a greater um, an account with greater levels of access that allows me to see everything. So that's a gray box. There's also a gray box penetration test from the internal part of a network. So I talked about a gray box penetration test for a web application server. There's also one where you test from the point of view of an insider on a network. So what this typically is, is if you do an internal penetration test, like somebody goes to your environment, they will do the penetration test from the point of view of one of your domain users. The idea is you want to see what someone could do on your network that has user level permissions if one day they decided to become an insider threat or they get upset about your organization, they wanna steal information, you basically wanna see how much damage a user can do on your network. And you wanna also see if that user can uh, escalate privileges to an administrator. Uh, so that is a gray box test uh, and we talked about two different types. We talked about gray box from a web application perspective and gray box from internal network perspective. But the overarching theme is the same. You have authenticated access at a user level, not an administrator level. The other type of penetration test is a white box penetration test. A white box penetration test means the penetration testing team has full access to the
the system they are testing. So they have an administrator level account, they have documentation, they may have data flow diagrams, and typically a white box penetration test occurs during the development cycle uh, because the system isn't finished developing and to make sure security is part of that cycle, a penetration testing team is often brought in as part of the development and shown all the documentation. They work with the developers to help make sure when the system or the application is released that it is secure. So just a quick overview again, black box, I have no level of access for a black box penetration test. Gray box, I have user level authenticated access. And a white box, I have administrator level or root level access, and I have access to documentation if, if there is documentation as well. So again, this is the, these are the main differences between the types of penetration tests. A vulnerability assessment simply identifies the vulnerabilities. A penetration test, you exploit the vulnerabilities. If you wanna learn more about penetration testing or vulnerability assessments, you can take one of Alpine Security's courses. We offer courses ranging from basic user level training about cybersecurity all the way up to advanced penetration testing, that entire progression. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them beneath the video. This is one of my favorite Mauna Kea cups. So I'm drinking some coffee here, some espresso. It's from Mauna Kea and Kona, the big island of Hawaii. All right, I'll talk to you later. See you on the next video.